Christ is a corruption on the first day, and it, it hit home to me because there is a lot of this. People in my village are subject to corruption from the police, and, uh, you know, police would take one person's dacha and sell it to another person and, and demand money from, from the person he took it from so that he may not be arrested. And uh, the other problem, I'm sorry, I have made these notes this morning. Yeah, the, 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 the UN ambassador who spoke here on Monday also touched on, on that uh, any intervention should be based on human rights. Uh, because truly speaking, using drugs is not criminal. And uh, it, it, let me also point out that it is my first time to come here uh, in the drug week. I was made to believe when I came here that there would be government representatives, that uh, we were going to speak to them in trying to influence them in making the drug policies. But uh, I heard that there are also journalists here, so I hope that uh, this talk will reach the powers that be uh, when they make their policies. Uh, I'm here to appeal to the government to consider those people in the villages who do not even know that there are winds of change that are blowing uh, in South Africa right now with regard to the drug laws. So I'm here to represent those people uh, they are honest people who make, uh, well, to me it is an honest living, but some people would like to think of it as not honest, uh, who make honest living out of selling this dacha, and uh, they are Christians, they don't steal, they just poor. They live in abject uh, poverty, and they depend, solely depend on this. And I know people whose households are mainly maintained by the sale of this dacha. So if our government can please consider these people and not uh, leave them behind, Thank you. That would be.